Aloha and welcome back to High Now Daily. Joining us here in the studio, we have Mark Norseth from the Honolulu Museum of Art. And we're going to be talking a little bit uh, about art education classes that are available for everyone, right, Mark? Keiki to Kupuna over there at the Honolulu Museum of Art. Welcome in. Thank you, Tainoa. Great to have you. It's a pleasure to be here. All right, so tell us a little bit about these art classes that are available for Kupuna that are out there who are interested. Well, Joseph will be able to fill in more of the details later on. I'm personally responsible for teaching a group of people 55 and older who are interested in wa painting watercolor, which is what I'm going to be demonstrating today. Show us how it works. Okay, I will. I'm intrigued. I'm ready. Let's do it. Okay. First of all, this is an exercise that I have the students do, and it's taking an everyday object and drawing it um, and placing it on the paper in such a way that it's only in silhouette. And the okay. reason for that is we, especially with watercolor, watercolor. Come over here, check this out. And what we have over here, this looks like like a, like a, wa a water bottle or some kind of mm -hmm. spray bottle, right? Situation, yep. as it, you can see over here. So it's just kind of like, this is just the outline, yeah? It's a contour drawing, there yeah. There you go. And the idea is to, of this exercise, is to first of all practice their drawing skills. Okay. But second of all is to introduce them to the idea that everyday objects are the things around us are actually kind of interesting and the project for them to to do is to eliminate as much detail as possible and only rely on the silhouette of that thing for it to be recognizable you okay. recognize it right away right and so the painting part is actually going to be really simple and what i'm going to do is there's part of this is a color exercise and we're going to start by mixing a gray but the gray i'm going to mix is going to be made out of the three primary colors which happen to be blue yellow and red okay so i'm going to take some blue on my palette here this is ultramarine blue how long have you uh been teaching for and what made you interested in uh, watercolor i i got interested in watercolor as a child and uh, have been painting essentially doing this since i was about 11. so it's been a while so that's yellow and that's the, excuse me the red and the blue will make a violet kind of a shape i'm using okay. a very earthy kind of red i have a couple and if i add they're opposite, the opposite of blue and red. The third color is yellow, and yellow is the opposite of purple. If I add that, you will watch it become neutral. So I'm gonna use one of these earth yellows, I'm gonna work that in there, and you will see this begin to calm down and become a little more, I'm gonna mop some of that up, a little more neutral. Okay, and I'm, I'm already seeing it right now. Yeah, yeah, you'll see it get a little more neutral. And, it, and then you can, and this is a great exercise to get students um, used to working with neutrals and working with washes without worrying about color. And in order to, um, to paint this, what I have them do is, um, it's a wash exercise. And washes, yeah. watercolor, they tend to run and drip. That's why we're on a um, gotcha. horizontal surface. And I'm just gonna put flat water with a flat edge brush. I'm gonna go around that object in a couple places, and that's got a little bit of paint on it, but mm -hmm. it's mostly, and I'm not gonna fully enclose it, but I'm gonna put some water around there, and. And this is the base, uh, this is what's taking place in the class. Basically, this is, we're, we're looking at an object, we're stenciled, and then we're. They're drawing the opposite, okay. and in their, their goal, their objective, is to try to, I'm gonna pick up some water here. Okay. This is a nice little technique, squeezing with one hand. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna soak that up, make it go away. And then, we can add color to these objects. So what I'm gonna do is get some water going in there, and then get some wash going in here. Now, as long as the water, the, the wet spots don't touch, they're gonna stay separate. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is skill building. Wow. Okay, so let's take some of that. How many people in the class? 15. 15 total. Oh, yeah. So it's not a tremendously big class size. It's real intimate knowledge. Oh, it's, yeah. yeah, listen, they have a great time. They come in so, the students come in so eager. It's a delight to see. And I really think a lot of what it is, is that um, at that point in life, they have the time. Mm -hmm. They may have always had the interest, but maybe never the opportunity. And once you get them started on some things, they just begin to uh, really enjoy themselves. Definitely lighting yeah. up in a different way. Lighting up, exactly. You couldn't have said it better myself. So we can have that going, and then we can take another color. And why don't you pick a color? And I'm gonna. Okay. You can give me a thumbs up. There we All go. All right. And I give you, uh, I would give you a brush. Well, let me get squeeze some water out of this here. Let me get past okay. it. Okay. So it's not too messy. 
Okay, what I'm going to ask you to do. I'm going to do my best right now. Pick out a color that okay. you like, and you're going to just add it to that wall. Oh, I like this tinge. This is kind oh, of like, like high now -y. This is like <laughs> us. This is very us, I feel. Is that picking up any paint? I think so. Uh, maybe here. Tell you what. Let me... You know what? We're going to go to a quick commercial break, because coming up after, you're going to see me put paint to pen to picture. Okay, stay with us on High Now Daily. We'll be right back. Thank you, thank you. You got it. Okay, there we go. There it is. Now I'm picking it up. Mm -hmm.